Hello. You know, if I were to ask you how would you describe your best friend, what would you say? Would it be easy for you to describe them? Would you be able to have a lot of things roll right off your tongue as you do describe your best friend? You know, when I think about that, it takes me to Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 and 15. Jesus was hanging out with his disciples and maybe they were having a good time together. And, and then all of a sudden, Jesus asked this question. He says, who do people say that the Son of Man is? Now they began answering that question and, you know, and some say that you're John the Baptist and others say that you're Elijah. And, you know, in my time of doing ministry over the years and doing a lot of evangelism through the years, I've heard a lot of different answers to that question. Now, some were able to go pretty deep and some were real surface and, you know, oh, isn't he God? And it was like more of a question. Isn't he God? Um, I've heard others who have answered that question with uh, Sunday school answers and some have answered it. Uh, not knowing. I don't know who he is. Others have said, isn't he in a movie? I've heard a wide range. And, and I began thinking about that. And then Jesus flips the question. He asks the question in a different way. Listen to what he says in verse 15. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Wow, now that's a whole different question. It's taken it from secondhand knowledge to firsthand knowledge. It's, it's taken it to a deeper place to say, yeah, we've been hanging out all this time. We've been hanging out all these years. Who do you say that I, that I am? Do you know me yet? This is a very deep, profound question. And Peter gives the answer, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. How would you answer this question? Do you know Jesus for all that he is according to what the scriptures say? Do you take him for his promises? Do you take him at his word? Do you take him for what the prophets had to say about him long before he came? Do you take him for what the disciples said about him long after he was gone? Who do you say that Jesus is? If someone were to ask you that question right now, how would you answer? Do you know him as a friend? Do you know him as your best friend? Do you hang out with Jesus more than you hang out with anyone else? If so, perhaps you could describe and, and you could answer that question right back to Jesus right now that you could be able to give an account for who he is and why you believe in who you say that he is. If you don't know him in a deep and personal way, I encourage you to get to know him, that you could be able to answer this question, that you could live from the position in which you answer that question, that every day that you could begin to Live in a way that surely reflects your relationship with him. Let's pray. Father, we pray right now that we would understand who you are, that we would know who you are, and that we would live from a position of being in relationship with you. And Lord, that everything that we do reflects that. Lord, help us to get to know you in a better way. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We thank you for who you've been in our life. And Lord, help us. And if you'd be willing, allow us to become your best friend. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a beautiful day knowing and holding on to who you say that he is. God bless.